Hi, okay, um, I am going to attempt to do a tutorial for, um, I guess a bouncing isolation, you could call it, maybe a yo-yo isolation or something like that, but it would look like this. And there's a lot of different ways that you can kind of go about doing it, um, but I think the main thing in learning this is the grip and how loose or tight to do it and kind of where to put your momentum down. So, um, right, so we would hold, what, how I do this is I'm kind of holding the hoop like this. It's kind of pinched here between my fingers. It's not a really tight hold, but perhaps for starting this, you start off just kind of holding it like this and you know, up and down, right? So the first thing that you kind of need to know is to do a cat eye, which basically the hoop moves up and down, but your hands are kind of going to move like this. So it looks something like this. Now if you take the hoop out, you see my hand makes a V shape. And that's really where all of this kind of comes in. So. For this, you're just kind of holding the hoop at the top at 12, and we make a U shape kind of like this. So when the hoop comes up and it's around near our face, I'm going to be holding it at about 3, and then it's going to go down to 12, and back up to 9. So. You just keep practicing like that. It helps you practice in a mirror or record yourself because then you can see, you can make sure that it's going up and down. So that's your first uh, thing you need to work on to be able to do these. And they're not too hard. It's really just about getting a good like feel for how to um, approach it. So anyway. Cat eye. Now the other thing is, you can kind of do anything with this and really like play with it. That's how I learned all these things, was just playing in the mirror with different grips, moving my arm different ways, that kind of thing. So anyway, with the bouncing isolation, which you can, I guess you can do a, a grip different ways, but I guess we'll just start with this kind of grabbing it at the top on the outside. So maybe you start like this. And then, instead of just going up and down, you reach up and you move your arm so it comes across your body. And so, even though you don't, your hoop, your hand doesn't leave the hoop, it's still staying at 12. You're just moving it over to like about 11. And then you're going to push down diagonally. Then, move it back over to maybe like 1 o'clock, push down this way, and lift up. So basically, it's this kind of thing. But instead of going straight down, going to the side. So this way, this way, this way, this way, just like that. And really the trick is to kind of exaggerate this because it really is just an exaggerated cat eye, as you can see. So then Maybe you want it to kind of flow a little bit more and look more like a bounce like this. That's when the actual grip comes in. Where you can do it a little bit like this, but really it works a little better if your hand's looser. So you want to hold the hoop a little bit looser instead of this like death grip. Hold it kind of like this. I'm pinching it like this. And what I tend to do is use the pressure from my thumb and then my pinky and first finger to push it. So it's really just kind of going to roll in your hand. So just kind of cup it and let it loosely kind of move around, see what you do with it, you know. And even just the most simplest of things can kind of look nice when it's a loosely kind of rolling in your hand. But uh, anyway, back to doing the, the cat eye, right? So we are holding it. Kind of like this, okay, and then 
We're just doing the same kind of thing. You can practice the cat eye with this, and you'll notice with the looser grip, it feels a little bit different. It's you, the hoop has its own momentum, and it kind of goes, you know, on its own. And it's more in your wrist. So my wrist ends up being kind of like this. It goes down like this, and back up like this. And the hoop is, is I'm allowing the hoop to kind of roll a little bit. So then even there, you can kind of see where it comes in doing this right here. So. Same as I said before, where we're doing this, but you're just going to do it a little bit looser. And then I use the pressure from my first finger to push it down, roll back up to about 11, and push down like this. So you can see how it's kind of this like wide V shape. And when I get over here, I'm holding it really by pressing hard with my first finger and cupping it with my other fingers. It comes down and it's really loose in my hand. Then it comes back up here and I'm using, I'm cupping it with these three fingers and using my pinky finger to kind of hold it there. So that's basically it. Now what I would recommend is that you wash yourself in a mirror and really just play with what you can do with these different grips. So maybe you start out kind of seeing what you can do that's, you know, like this. All I'm doing right here is just moving my hand in a circle, but then from there you can just go into, you know, doing this kind of thing. But it's really just that basic U shape where your hand crosses your body over here and then is out here and the hoops in front of you. So, yeah. I just say play, you know, see what you can do with that, and, um, oh, almost forgot one more thing. Another way of doing this, where I showed you an overhand way, another way to approach it is kind of doing it underhand like this. So what I would say practice first is, it's basically the same kind of grip that I had up here, like this, but instead I'm doing under here, and I'm still kind of just pinching the hoop lightly, but letting it kind of sit there and just, you know, practice again in front of a mirror, video camera, whatever. Just doing these little isolations and then see what you can do. You know, like here, I'm again stopping at 11, going down, going back up to one, like, you know, making that U shape again. And that's kind of the bounce. and. <clears throat> Another thing is when I'm doing this, I tend to really focus on the pushing down of it. Really like push it down and then this part, I push it down and then let this kind of come up on its own, right? So I'm really focusing on the, the push of it and not so much on the this part or whatever. It's like down and then it comes. And then naturally your hand kind of comes up like this. As you get more comfortable with it, you'll kind of see more what I mean, but <clears throat> not too difficult, but it's a really cool illusion and, you know, playing with it, doing all kinds of things, that's really um, what I do a lot of, you know, play with the different planes on your body. And that's the other thing with this is that, you know, it, it's really like it's a flat plane in front of you, or maybe you're over here behind yourself doing the same kinds of things. or I guess it would be better if it was like this. I know I do this all the time. <laughs> it's the same thing, you know? But yeah, so hope that helps and you're able to figure this out now.